Yo guys, welcome back to Really Made. I'm Dorsey and today we're watching Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 10. Last episode was an absolute shocker. Uh, of course, Ned's dead. Uh, I, I said I didn't see uh, the King's passing coming. I definitely didn't see this coming. I mean, to me, he's the main character. You know? Um, yeah, I just... I honestly thought he would last till the end. I didn't see him going in the first season. And especially the way he went. It was just a... Like a really bad ending for... Someone so... Someone so, like, high up and powerful. And like I said, I thought he was a main character. Uh, so it absolutely, like, rocked me. As you've probably seen... Came out of nowhere, even though the last couple of, couple of episodes I have been saying like I'm very worried about them in terms of like the the walls were caving in basically around uh, King's Landing. Like he couldn't trust anybody. The people he thought he could trust a little bit, he couldn't trust. Example, Little Finger, uh, just rats all over. To be honest with you, uh, Drogo is very ill his his wound got infected in uh the the fight that he had and um, where he ripped the, the throat out and um, something tells me the witch might have you know infected him or poisoned him with something and um, because she instantly wanted to clean it uh, and i never really thought about it until now pretty much that very suspicious that she says it needs treating because it will end up festering and then next thing you know he's close to death like I don't know I don't know very very suspicious to say the least and I don't trust anybody so it also left off with Daenerys about to give birth and um, hopefully we see this episode if everything goes okay and um, I couldn't believe that he took him in, uh, I think it was the same tent that Drogo was in when all of this black magic was going on. Um, bad idea. It was a bad idea to have her do black magic anyway. Because I just, it never works out, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that, that was just a real mix of like, bad things happening all at once sort of thing. And especially with some of the noises coming out of that tent, like, Nothing good's going on in there. Do you know what I'm saying? That they executed a horse. Yeah, like freaks me out. Freaks me out. I don't like it. Rob Stark captured Jamie uh, at the end. They've got he had to pretty much sacrifice two thousand men to do it, but he still got it done. Uh, very smart move. Uh, and I think he even said like he sacrificed two thousand men, so he definitely felt remorse for it. But he's also seems a lot like his dad, or or at least he he's he takes a lot from his dad in terms of mercy. Like you saw, he let the let the scout go and told him to tell uh, Tywin the message. So I don't know. I really like Rob, especially the like the last couple of episodes where he's come out and actually done something. Because before that, we seen him here and there, but not too much uh, but I'm really enjoying his character as well to be honest I'm guessing he's gonna take over from Ned we also learned about Tyrion's past um, which was good because uh, we don't know a lot about him he's mentioned a couple of bits here and there about how his father you know missed kind of like didn't really seen him as a bastard in his eyes because he was a dwarf and uh, even the way Tywin looks at him you can tell he doesn't really like uh, Tyrion. But then to find out that he was actually married at 16 and uh, surprised the hell out of me, to be honest. I mean, I know he likes his women. He likes his... What's the polite term? Uh, ladies of the night. Um, and that seems to be his weakness, that and why. Because uh, he's very smart, Tyrion. I think he designed... Um, the thing for Bran so he could ride horses uh, and he said he reads a lot so he's very smart it's just obviously everyone has their weaknesses and he ended up getting married at 16 
Um, it was cool to, to like get that backstory and uh, see that he has like a real soft side to him. Before we start the episode, I just want to say thank you so much for the comments in the last uh, in the last video. Uh, I really appreciate y'all saying that you're enjoying the reactions and stuff like that. Uh, I read every single one, reply to every one because I genuinely appreciate you all. Um, and yeah, I just want to say thank you um, for being with me as we go through it, as we go through Game of Thrones and uh, to get to experience it together. So yeah, thanks guys. Anyway, I did want to keep the intro short, but I don't know if it's going to be now. Um, if you haven't already, leave a like, comment and a subscribe. Maybe let me know anything else you want me to watch in the comments. Without further ado, let's get into the season finale, Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 10. God, I am excited. Look at me. So we're starting like straight from the last episode. Eh? I thought he was. Oh my god, Sansa faded. I thought he was a good guy. Like, I thought he was. Because wasn't he at the war? Talking to uh, Tyrion. I'm not a boy! You're not a smart boy. Is that what you're trying to say? Do you want to live, boy? What is going on? Oh. oh, I get it. Bran keeps having the same dream, and I'm, I'm starting to wonder, like, what does this mean? I'm not afraid of some hole in the ground. You've left me on the wall. What are you scared of? I'm a cripple boy, and I'm willing to go. Also, is this like, oh, this is where Ned took the king in like the first episode to see his sister. It's like a family crypt. How many times have I told you he's in King's Landing with Sansa and Arya? He was down here. I saw him. Saw him when? Last night. When I was sleeping. Here, Shaggy Dog. There's some weird connection going on here. Because I'm guessing that's Ned's spirit. Oh, does Caitlin know yet? Maybe she knows. I still can't believe in myself. It's so shit. Oh, Rob, man. Probably blames himself, I bet. She's crazy strong, you know. Look at how like composed she's gotten to Everyone look after her son. He failed his final test. The lion ripped his balls off and the boar did all the rest. Is that like a medieval diss track? <laughs> Someone tells me they're not going to be happy with that. Hung it is. Your Grace, please. I was. Your Grace. Uh, Sir Illin, who better than you to carry out the sentence? I, I beg you, please. Oh, yeah, that's the guy who had his tongue took. Same way, I'm guessing. Your Grace, please. No, please, no. I'm not. Father. This one here. Look at it and see what happens to traitors. You promised to be merciful. I was. I gave him a clean death. You fucking prick. Look at him! Actually annoyed. I want to jump in that screen and stab him. Do you want to see the rest? If it please your grace. Whoa. That's your scepter, there. Oh no, you. they killed it. I'm going to give Kill your traitor brother. I'm going to give you his head as well. Or maybe he'll give me yours. Yeah. You fucking prick. Samarin. 
And Sansa all of a sudden just looks numb. And he looked pissed off by that. That she, that she didn't, like, show more emotion. Go on, push him. Will you obey now? She you need another lesson? She obeyed anyway. You'll be needing that again. So the Hound is an interesting character as well. Because the Hound almost seems good. But he's just also loyal to the throne. Why should they rule over me and mine from some flowery seat in the south? What do they know of the war? Or the wolfswood? Even their gods are wrong. <laughs> Actually get that joke. Why shouldn't we rule ourselves again? From your comments. It's the only king I mean to bend my knee to. The king of the north! You're damn right. The king of the north! The king of the north. The king of the north. I'm proud. Especially as a northerner myself. Maybe northern England, but even still. Slip out of that gown and we'll see if I'm up to it. Good. Do it again. I will kill you tonight, sir. Pack your head in a box and send it to your sister. <laughs> well, let me show oh, you how. fucking one or two. Hit me well. again. Over the ear. I'd have caved his head in there and then. You captured Rob Stark yet? What's our next move? Stop talking. Get back into bed. Is that the wine boy? She's shagging more than Jamie. Ugh. Gregor will head out with 500 riders and set a riverland on fire from God's eye to the Red Fork. The rest of us will regroup at Harrenhal. You will go to King's Landing. And do what? Why? Rule. What? At least... At least he's going to Winterfell where Bran is. Uh, uh, that makes me think Bran isn't going to get Tret wrong. Like, I feel a little bit better now because I know Bran's probably going to be okay if Tyrion goes to Winterfell. Sir Oh, Daenerys. Where's the baby? Where is he? No. The boy did not live. Anything else? How did my son die? He never lived, my princess. Guaranteed to do with that black magic shit. He was scaled like a lizard. Blind, with leather wings like the wings of a bat. What? I warned you. But only death can pay for life. You knew the price. Where is Gold Drogo? Show him to so me. So the baby's died because she's... The Kalasar is gone. Yeah, where is everyone? He lives. You Barely. You paid for life. This is not life. When will he be as... He's not even there anymore. When the mountains blow in the wind, like leaves. And she looks happy about it too. Was this her plan? I mean, she's a witch. The head of a baker who makes my bread. The head of a young boy that I'd cured a fever just three months past. Tell me again exactly what it was that you saved. Your life. I get her point, but I still don't like her. Get out my way, son. They'll put out He's the not word. leaving. They'll send out ravens. People will come after you. Do oh, you know what happens to man. deserters? I'm going to find my brother and put a sword through King Joffrey's throat. I actually want them to, but it's also pretty stupid. Move. 
No. God, he's determined, isn't he? Literally, literally rode over Sam. I don't blame him at all either. Everyone, everywhere, always has to do exactly what my father says. He's always been a cunt. <laughs> oh, I love Tyrion. Do come with me. Be the hand's lady. Because the king needs a hand, and the hand. I know what a hand needs. <laughs> See, I like that. I like that Tyrion's found somebody. But I have PTSD with this show, and I just don't trust her either. So. <laughs> And the sword in the darkness, the watcher on the walls, the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch. I love that he's got friends, real friends. That's what John needs. He needs some people that care about him and don't see him as just a bastard. He's not there, is he? He's, he can't even like look at it. Man, that's sad. She's lost her husband and her son. <laughs> why, is, why is this getting me? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, few men in this city who doesn't want to be king. You must be one of the few men in this city who isn't a man. You can do better than that. Yeah, that was pretty shit. Do you lie awake at night fearing my gash? But you carry on, whispering in one king's ear and then the next. Fearing my gash. Bending powerful men and women. A useful talent, I'm sure you'd agree. I don't like either of these guys because one of them's a traitor to Ned and neither one likes little boys. I came. My lords. Oh, someone else I don't like. For them would turn you over to the king quick as spit for a pardon. And the other half would do the same except they'd rape you first. So keep to yourself. Jesus, man. Why not just take her away? Like, surely it's not good to have her around kids. Oh, I use no. me a sword like that. I'm gonna go mad if they do something to her. She never killed anyone. I bet you're a liar. But I'm not. I'm good at killing fat boys. <laughs> I like killing fat boys. Oh, no. oh, you like picking on the little ones, do you? You know, I've been hammering an anvil these past ten years. When I hit that steel, it sings. Is that Robert's son? Oh my god. It's a thousand leagues from here to the wall. And winter is coming. Also, he, hit, he is taking a north. Is he going to take out a Winterfell wall? Or if he goes to the wall, John's going to be there? At least she's out of King's Landing, is the main thing. You look exhausted. Was your moonlight ride that tiring? Wait, he knows about us. My father. Oh, and you're gonna bring him back to life, are you? No? Good. We've had enough of that sort of thing. What does he mean, that sort of thing? Blazing in the mountains Have people been brought back to life dawn. before? Do you think your brother's war is more important than ours? Oh, exactly. True. Very true. And worse. Come hunting for us in the night. Do you think it matters who sits on the Iron Throne? Hmm. No. I've said God. this for a bit. I want you and your wolf with us when we ride out beyond the wall tomorrow. Oh. Beyond the wall. He's going out. For the snows. I mean to find out what's happening. Oh, this is good. 
against the wildlings, the white walkers, and whatever else is out there. Okay. And we will find. Are you a brother of the Night's Watch? Or a bastard boy <laughs> who wants to play at war? I got goosebumps, man. I completely forgot about the eggs. I know what you intend. Do not. I must. What? You don't understand. Don't ask what me does to she stand intend? aside as you climb on that pyre. No. I won't watch you burn. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. If she climbs on that fire with them eggs there, the eggs will protect her. That bitch is gonna die too. Good. You will not hear me scream. I will. Fucking right, Daenerys. I, I don't think she's gonna die at all. I honestly think these eggs are gonna protect her. She's just singing like a wrong one. Fucking love that. She said, I will hear you scream, and she is. Look at her, man. And she's there. I knew them eggs were going to protect her. Oh! Oh, yes! Are you fucking kidding me? Blood of my blood. Oh my god. Oh, there's more than one. There's three. Oh my god. She is the dragon. What the f Oh, look at it. Oh my god. I've got full goosebumps, I've got a hoodie on her, I can't even show you, but I can feel them. Oh, that's sick. Oh. Oh, that was sick, man. I've been waiting all season. Alright, guys, we just finished episode 10, the finale of season 1. And uh, I, after that, I am so hyped. I'm so happy with that ending that like that got me so like excited and hyped for the next season. We've got Daenerys, who's a dragon with baby dragons. Um, of course, she lost her son um, this episode as well as Drogo. Um, but maybe maybe them dragons are uh, were meant to be uh, children in a way. Um, I can see some sort of symbol symbolism there. Maybe. Unless I'm reaching a bit too far. But wow. When when that dragon popped up over her shoulder, I could not believe. I, I genuinely couldn't believe. Because I've been waiting since pretty much episode one. When I seen those eggs, I was like, that's 100% they're going to hatch. And we've, we've had to wait till the finale of season one. But that was a big payoff. I'm not going to lie. Like... Like that really it gave me goosebumps. I was so like, I don't, I just couldn't believe it. Speaking of Daenerys, Drogo passed away uh, this episode. Well, Daenerys, you know, put him out of his misery. Um, I'm not surprised. I would probably do the same if I had a wife and they were like that. You know, uh, it's mm, not nice to see at all. But she did what she had to do and she also killed the witch that did it to him which i'm happy about i love the ending where she said you won't hear me screaming and she literally watched as she screamed it's like vengefulness almost but i, I really liked it because you can tell daenerys isn't a bad person she's just went through bad things and i don't i can just see her be becoming not just Khaleesi of the Dauphraki, but ruling all seven kingdoms. Um, yeah, especially if she goes back to the Dauphraki, 
and she's got three dragons. They're, they'll just bow to her, like those people did uh, around the fire. Honestly, though, I needed that ending after episode nine. Um, all of the stuff that went on in that episode and the ending of it with uh, Ned dying. I mean, quite a lot, quite a lot of bad things happened this episode too. But I just love the payoff at the end there with them dragons. And yeah, it, 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 it's left me. The ending of this one has left me still sad because obviously Drogo is gone and so is Ned. And things aren't looking good in other places too. You've got Arya who has to pretend to be a boy now. God knows where she's going to end up. I know she's going north, but where? Um, speaking of Arya going north, um, the people in the north declared Rob the King of the North. Uh, which hyped me up as well being a northerner I sometimes consider myself the king of the north <laughs> but yeah um, I think if anybody could take the throne I'd like it to be Rob um, I don't know about King Robert's brothers because I know they were that's who Ned wanted to go on the throne We I don't think we've met him or if we have it was only very briefly uh, but yeah, I can I could see Rob being on the throne too. He's clearly capable. Like like a couple of people said in previous episodes, he's he's a little green. Like you know, he's new to battles and stuff. But he seems very smart. Um, he's very merciful, and he knows what's right at the end of the day. Like Ned's clearly taught him well, you know. We've got Arya going north with uh, King Robert's bastard son. Uh, I'm happy that he's at least with her because he seems like a good kid. Um, he seems pretty capable as well. Uh, I remember when Ned went to see him at the blacksmiths. I think the blacksmith said he was quite strong for his age and stuff like that. And I even remember Ned saying if he ever wants to pick up a sword, bring it to me. So that's good. That makes me feel like she's at least a little bit safe. She's got somebody to watch her back. Uh, not that she needs it. I mean, she nearly stabbed that uh, that chubby kid there just for, you know, talking to her a certain way. Um, but yeah, absolutely nuts. That last episode, quite a lot happened, I have to say. Or the last couple of episodes, a lot has happened. But I did also say this. I, I, I said when... Ned was hand to the king and he was they were in King's Land and I said this is all about a goal wrong. The amount of stuff that was being set up, you could see it was all about the goal wrong. In terms of my overall review of the show so far, after uh, finishing season one, uh, I have a couple of points. The first one being there is a lot of sex in this show, like a hell of a lot. And it's, it's lifelike because people are horny, but yeah, there's a lot of sex. I mean, I don't mind seeing naked ladies or anything, but just like, whoa, you know? It's just a shock sometimes to see so much of it. But like I said, it's lifelike, to be honest, for back in that time, you know, there were a lot of brothels around and stuff, so yeah. Hell of a lot of uh, twists, turns, backstabbings, deaths, uh, lying, just, yeah, like you can't trust anybody on this show, uh, always got you guessing, always, always keeps you guessing, and I think that's because it's just really good writing, um, especially especially of the actual characters, like I'm interested in everybody, like not just the main characters, the Starks or, or the Lannisters, or I want to know about the Greyjoys and, uh, you know, the, the Umbers and stuff like that, like I, I actually really am interested and learning more about her and i think you guys said that there's like a there's a there's something i can watch where i can find out more about that so i think i'll look into it and maybe watch that too on the channel um but yeah overall the show uh, at the minute after season one definitely definitely a 10 out of 10 show i can 100 percent see why you guys love this show so much if you haven't already, leave a like, comment and a subscribe. Maybe let me know anything that I missed 
uh, in this episode down in the comments. Anything else you want me to watch too, just uh, write down there. I, re I read all of the comments, uh, reply to every one of them, so I'll definitely see it. The next episode is starting season two. Uh, I cannot wait for that. Uh, it's going to be good, I can already tell. Because especially, especially because we're already in the world and we know sort of what's going on, I can see season two becoming... Like, I can see season two starting off like really quickly because we're already there, you know. Um, but yeah, and yeah, I will see you all next time. All right, guys, see you later.